Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining in. This is a follow-up to my new Vault Analyzer tool, and I want to make sure that I prefaced everybody, this is a new Vault Analyzer tool. It was not meant to be used as the only thing without you having eyes on or seeing what you might want to delete. It was meant to organize and make things easier, meant for you to see your weapons in an easier way. However, I know there's a couple of things missing that actually would make that work. One, I got to fix the couple of weird energy blips and things I've seen on the, the type of weapons. Two, I have to make sure that I can get to the multiple perks in each column, and I'm not sure 100% why that hasn't displayed or factored in. I don't think it's actually being factored correctly at all. Class items, haven't even done that. Armor, haven't touched it for anything other than like base stat rolls, right? And so I think that that means that, yes, if you are a you know high resilience uh, hunter, and maybe it's factoring mobility a little bit higher. So I need to really look at some of that. However, I wanted this to be very easy to go through, crush and delete some of the weapons very upfront. Um, armor, I feel like is easier. You know, like if it's below a 62, um, I'm not even gonna factor it. If it doesn't have spikes in these X, Y, and Z, I'm not gonna factor it. Um, as a Destiny player, I only have 1300 hours in. I haven't played every class. I'm not a stasis main, never have been. I'm not a Titan main, never have been. I was a Hunter main, who's a Warlock main slash Hunter main. And my point is, I haven't covered all the things. Um, so I want this to be useful, and that's why I asked for feedback, and I asked for people to take a look. So I hope that you all will continue to follow. Recommend to your friends. Um, it, I think it's useful if you do a couple of things. So let's take a quick look at how you can use this tool a little better. For right now, my recommendation, never delete anything first and foremost that you don't want to delete, like period. Whether it's my tool or anything else out there, um, keep what you want to keep. So let's look into that. So first I'm going to log in here. I'm just going to you know, show you exactly from the beginning how I think I would use it. I'm going to keep it quick because I don't want to make this a whole nother use video without having a ton behind it. PvE and PvP does factor perks. Those were in the last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a thumbnail and a, a link to it in at the end of this video as well. Um, but the perks are very simple and straightforward. Most people might find it useful to factor their own perks. This will 100%, it's analytics. I used AI to help me sort an which features and which perks would go to which um, section better, right? There are certain things that are crossover, and that's why sometimes PvE and PvP is good if you're both, um, because, you know, it's always good to have some perks, um, certain perks on, on your weapon together. So I think, again, uh, as a Destiny player, um, this is very individual preference. There's some people who, you know, believe even some of the big streamers, you know, don't have their stuff on one section PvE or PvP or the other, right? Um, use this to set the perks that you like for your weapons. That is huge. Second, uh, armor, I haven't got there yet. Again, exotic class items, definitely haven't got there. I didn't even have any to, to test. Um, I hope to improve the logs for this app, which will let players send me their log directly if they'd like to, so they can just save it, send it to my email real quick, and that will let me see exactly what's going on in the programming that I'm missing certain things, right? Um, second, though, uh, to that, I'd say this is the biggest factor, right? Boom. Let's say I don't want to factor in armor because I don't have an armor tool yet that's going to let me see what the new armor roll is really going to look like. I want a high weapons. I want a high health um, roll for my armor. Um, I, so that is going to change, and I might create that. Leave comments down below if you think that that is valuable and something that you want to see. Um, in fact, I'll say like, I'm going to pop back up here, leave comments down below. If you would rather me prioritize my time into creating a very quick armor tool that will let you see what your current loadouts look like inside of the new armor stats. I'm not sure why it hasn't come out on dim. I would be shocked if it isn't going to come out shortly. And in all honesty, I kind of figure that would, so I didn't even really prioritize it. So back to this. Um, again, I think if we look at it, uh, ignore locked items. One of my best recommendations is there's certain weapons that I know that I'm going to want to keep regardless. I know that the roles that, that I used to have on them might not be factored as heavily now, but I love it, right? I love my uh, Cartesian coordinate that is solar based, has a lead for gold and Vorpal. I just love it, I don't know why. I also love the one that has lead for gold and slideways. And for me, those two weapons, 
I have never been able to delete. Lock those items, and when you click ignore locked items, it is going to factor that in and ignore your locked items. So from that point, you could actually end up with a much better um, analyzer. So again, this is first and foremost, I wanna make sure that I know and tell you guys all this is a brand new tool, right? This is a tool that I hope is going to be very useful in the future. I'm shocked I got as much response as I did. Um, I work two jobs, like I'm a normal human being. I'm, I, I got a guitar, but I mean, that's it. Like I, I literally haven't even purchased Edge of Fate yet. So like I'm, I'm just a normal guy who's trying to make things work here. And I thought this was hopefully gonna be cool and useful for people. So I hope you like it and definitely take a quick look um, if you haven't already keep sending that feedback because I am prioritizing based off of what you've said. Um, so the first things up to come are the search box, by the way, and making sure that I have multiple perks factored into the different columns for weapons. Um, and again, let me know if you want me to overwrite and try to pump something out that really factors in armor and shows the new armor rules. But um, I, I would think that's coming anyway. So thanks again. Give a quick like, subscribe, all the things. If I don't know, I have no way to keep helping. Um, but uh, I hope this is helpful. Take care. Thanks.